Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is not going to be a normal one of my videos where we're snapping there's but the cuts. If you want to go see a video like that, go check out my uh, Christmas video. Um, I really like that video, so go check that out. But today I just wanted to talk about a problem with LEGO Star Wars that I feel like not enough people are talking about, and that is false advertising. And they've been doing this, uh, there's just a couple of examples of this. The first one that I can think of is in the ATTE. If you look at the helmet prints in the box, they look very good, they're completely normal. And then you compare that to the actual figures and you can see a huge difference. They do not look good. And the actual figure, this is a misprint. They've said they're not fixing this. They've said multiple times that this is not a misprint. This is just how the figure's gonna be. Another example of false advertising is not one that's only in Star Wars sets. It's actually in every Lego set. Well, not everyone, but you know, it comes in all themes. And that is the flesh tone problem. So if you have a minifigure with a flesh tone head, and then they try and print that flesh tone onto a uh, torso that is not molded in flesh tone, it gets very washed and looks really bad. Of course on the boxes, it does not look like that. It looks perfect and beautiful, but out of the box, not the same story. And I've personally never really received a set like this with an absolutely perfect, pristine flesh tone print like on the box. So really, this is bad false advertising because you're just not getting what you're paying for. Finally now, the set that brought this whole false advertising thing to my attention and made me want to make a video about it is the January 2022 uh, 501st Battle Pack. I don't even know if this set's been officially revealed, but if you can see on the box, the antenna is right here where it should be. There's like a little bump right there, and that's where the antenna should be, so that's where they put it. But with the actual figure, the antenna attaches up here. There's a hole right here, that's where we put the antenna in. This is horrible. Like, the fact that they would basically glue the antenna on the wrong spot to make it look better on the box, and then you take it out of the box and it looks really bad, and it's a super weak connection. That's horrible. Like, they can't be doing that. It's really bad for their company. Like, and I feel like nobody's talking about it. Like, why is nobody talking about this huge issue with false advertising that's so blatantly clear if you used to look at the box for a second because they you can still see the hole up here with the antennas connected down here they really need to fix this